They ain't about this business, they're about their own business, but they ain't about the most highest business. What did my shaka shai say? When uh when he was 12 years old, and they they left him in Jerusalem. He was in there teaching the doctors, talking to them on a high level. Say, son, why do you do this to us? Say, I'm about my father's business. <laughs> Don't you know, woman? Don't you know, mother? I'm about my father's business. He wasn't slothful. Not slothful, verse 11, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the most high, rejoicing in hope, which is faith, patient in tribulation. You gotta be patient in tribulation. Continuing instant in prayer. You gotta be praying, people. Distributing to the necessity of saints. See? Distributing to the necessity of saints. That's what the church is for. To distribute to the necessity of saints. There's things that we need to help our people. Therefore, we're supposed to be collecting monies to help the people. You know, I give all praise and glory to the Most High, you know, that we're still able to just help our people on Skid Row, the most populous, homeless in the world. As far as here in America, the world of America, you know, more people need to really be contributing to that and stop being selfish and looking at yourself. It costs money. It costs money to drive there. It costs money to, to get the food and clothes and things that we get, wherever it is, it ain't coming free. It's not free. And you can be a part of that. And I applaud all you that's part, that's, that's, that's you know, contributing to that. That's, this is such a, a blessing. That's what the Mashiach was trying to say. You've done it to them, the least of my brother, and you've done it unto him. This is part of what we're supposed to be doing. And may, may the whole side bless every last one of you that have participated in this and have, and are still contributing to that cause. Because you have so many of us that watch that and they see that, they're not doing anything, and they have the monies, they don't want to help. This is who Hamashiach Yahushai was. This is the group that he was with. That's what it says. Distributing to the necessity of saints. How are you going to distribute to the necessity of saints if you don't have anything to distribute? You don't have anything. A lot of these mega churches got millions and millions of dollars. And you look at people now, they do something every, every hell of a day. You see them come down there. That's why my brother was crying, saying, wow, man. He said, they just come down here, they just, they just hit up with a nonprofit trying to get rid of certain things, gotta put that money out. And they know, they want, they're some of the most intelligent people that I've ran into since I've been in the troop as far as talking to them and them talking back to me and, given what they understand and what they know and have researched and here people look down upon them because they don't have money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality, You're supposed to be, you know, being a hospital person. Hospitality, you know, that's like we have our feast, feast days, It'd be nice. We have food, drink, a good time. You know, hospitality people, inviting people over to their house and showing them a good time and not just standoffish. That's not hospitable. You know, you have people that come in, new people come in, supposed to be showing hospitality to them. Don't, don't size them up. What, what, what are you about? Where you come from? I don't, automatic, don't like them. Don't even know them. They come walk in the door, ah, who was that? Where you come from? Run people away. That ain't hospitable. It says, verse 14, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. This of our people. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. That's, a, that's a, the, uh, the scripture that you had a question on. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. No? Number 20. Uh 
okay, it's the same thing. I mean, therefore, verse 20, therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. <laughs> See, that was all right. Ain't something that's new. Say again. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. What I you say, don't be not overcome with evil, overcome evil with good. How do you be good? How do you be good? By following the laws of the Most High. That's how you be good. It says, be not overcome of, you, don't, you ain't supposed to be loud and evil to overcome you, to take over you. That's what it's saying. But overcome evil with good. You see? Yeah, but when we go to number nine, it says, let's all be without, you know, and then avoid the evil. Yeah, it's telling you, don't allow yourself to allow the evil to come in you. Don't let Satan come in you. And you, you get rid of Satan by doing what's good. What's good? What have, been, what have been talking about all day long, all the Sabbath day? The laws of the most high. How did my shekel say overcome Satan? The by the scripture, by the law. No, by the law. He went to the law. He went directly to the law. That's how you overcame him. That's how you overcome evil. I mean, the examples are all here. You ain't supposed to be overcome. I mean, you're, you're, you, you walk around being evil. Of our people. 
not of these other nations. Because remember, he said, but he answered and said, I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Matthew 15, 24. He said, but I said to you, love your enemies, those who are Israelites. Bless them that curse you. Send up blessings. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Now he came back and said, in doing so, you'll do what? He calls a fire upon their head. Mm. That ye may be the children of your father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil. And we see it every day. The sun came out, right? <laughs> and the blessings come out to them on the evil and on the good. And send it rain, which is the blessing, on the just and on the unjust. See? This is what he say. For if ye love them which love you only, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? The ones in the world, they do the same thing. Everybody that's catered to them, they love them. And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Got to be like the most high ones to be. So he's given us the way, we just got to follow it. Uh, Ephesians 4. So you got it? You understand, right? Yeah, I understand. Okay. That's, that's what happened. You hear, you hear there and everywhere. People got all they have got different doctrines, different different ways of of seeing things. You talk about giving somebody, giving somebody what? Huh? Oh shoot! Now you done opened up another can of worms. <laughs> I want you to look at Ecclesiastes, the twelve chapter, in your pocket for. Write this down so you'll never have to hear it again. <laughs> Write this down, right. Please ask because it's the 12th chapter, first verse. It said, when, you want to read it up? Okay. Yeah, read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it, so that thou be thanked. So shall. For so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefit. See what it says? When you do good, know to whom you're doing good too. <laughs> Say, so shall you be thanked for your benefits, for what you're doing, you know, in helping someone. Read. Do good to a righteous man. Say, do good to who? A righteous man. Or do good to an evil man. The righteous man. Say, do good to the righteous man, read. And thou shalt find a recompense. You're going to find a reward, read. And if not from him, from yet from the most high. Yet from the most high. If you don't get it from him, you're going to receive it. Yet from the most high. That's why you got to be thinking. That's why it's the book of laws. It's telling you what to do and what not to do. His rules and regulations. That works. Read. There can, there can no good come, come to him that is always occupied in evil. See, ain't no good coming to him that's always occupied in evil. Read. Nor to him that giveth no alms. Nor to him that giveth no alms. You ain't, you ain't sacrificing your money for something that pertaining to this truth. You gotta, it's gotta, it's, it ain't free, it's just cost. It's say, buy the truth, sell it not. Mm. You know, read. Give to the righteous man. Give to who? The righteous man. You see, you hear that? Give to the righteous man, read. And help not a sinner. And help not a sinner. You know, like, we all together, and then, you know, we have a problem, but we still, the body of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. We ain't supposed to be holding on to grudges and, and all that because they love thy neighbor thyself. But you're going to take everything and you you helping someone else and not in the body of a Mashiach that was shot away from that, that's wrong. Go ahead. Verse 5. Do well unto him that is lowly. Yeah, do well to him that is lowly. You know, that's poor in spirit. Read. But give not to the unrighteous. Over again, but give not to the unrighteous. Read. Hold back thy bread. Hold back your bread. You know what your bread is, right? <laughs> If you old enough, old enough to know, you say, hey, man, that's, that's, I can get my bread. That's that money. Hold back that bread. Go ahead. And give it not unto him. And give it not unto him, read. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. 
or else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou hast had, thou shalt have done unto him. Yeah, you reach in your pocket, especially as a woman, you reach in your pocket to help an unrighteous man, that's saying, no, he's robbing you. He robbing you, you trying to do good. You trying to, you trying to do a righteous act and help with someone, and that's saying, you know, he to turn it around and robbed you. Yeah, see? Yeah. No, yeah. that, you know, like these, the churches, they have the young women, and that's still robbing. They give them money, and they know they got it, and they just do things to, yeah. you know, make them pay. You know, have them come out. You know, have the one basket one way, you know, the building fund, now this and that. Right. <laughs> Until you come up with nothing. That's right. The ATM's in the, in the lobby. That's right. <laughs> that's that robbing. That's a good point. That's right. <laughs> right up in the church. <laughs> <laughs> no excuse. I'll come back tomorrow. Really, because right you gotta look at it. You gotta look at that because you're saying that, but then, right quick, get a hold that. Get Jeremiah 23 and 1. You gotta look at that because these preachers, are they righteous, really? <laughs> are they really righteous? When you look at what it is that we know as being the children of Israel and, and the knowledge that's gonna stand the most high is endowed upon us, what do you say concerning that? Jeremiah 23 and 1. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter sheep of my pastor, said the Most High. So he said, woe be destruction to these pastors, these preachers, hope chop eating preachers that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Because they scatter in their mind. Like I say, our, our people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. So they're destroying the mind of our people. Mm -hmm. They can't think right. They don't think right. Therefore, when we come to try and bring them out of that darkness into the light, they will remain in darkness because they say, hey, the preacher that they believe in just because they gave all the money, they didn't receive all this money. Money does not make you somebody in the eyes of the Most High. Money answers all things and money is a defense. But it's not necessarily because you have money that you're great in the eyes of the Most High. Get Proverbs 12 and 8. Hold that. Get Proverbs 12 and 8. This is how a man's supposed to be commended. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 8. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom. See? A man's supposed to be commended according to what? His wisdom. According to his wisdom. Okay, that's all we want. Go back to uh, Jeremiah 23 and 2. So he say, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Most High, destruction to them, because they destroy the minds of our people. How we destroy it? By lack of knowledge. And they scatter the sheep. That's why you got all these different religions, right? They let them have all the religions that they want. Mm -hmm. When there's only one true faith. And that's in this book, the Holy Word of the Most High, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's our story. But they done, they done entwined it to be everybody's story. I'll just come on in. All I got to do is just call on the name of the Lord, right? And you shall be saved. Saved from what? It's my, my question. What you going to be saved from? You got to be saved from your enemies, from the hand of all that hate us. That's, that's salvation. And that's when salvation is coming to us. When we're saved from our enemies and from the hand of everyone that hate us. Verse 2. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 2. Therefore, thus said the power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Yeah, he said, this was the most high power of Israel. I mean, remember, he said, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, who was the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. So he said, thus said the most high power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. That's whatever they bringing forth from that pulpit. And they telling the people from that pulpit, whenever they had a Bible studies, whatever they doing. Read. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Most High. That's right. Taking everything from our people. They supposed to be given to the people. Once you have got so much at such a high level of money, mm -hmm. money's supposed to be going out to the people. You see somebody out there that's poor, that's, that's, that's without, and you don't have 
mercy and, 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 and compassion on that person. How you call yourself a minister of the Most High? But well, the Most High said, I love Jacob. But if you're just a Gentile and you think like the world, you're not going to be able to see this because your mind is polluted. You've been brain polluted. Stop saying brainwashed because their minds is polluted, destroyed for lack of knowledge. Filthy McNasty. That's why he said he's going to visit them for the evil of their doings, said the Most High. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. That's right. See? That's the good news. Mm -hmm. He's going to gather us from amongst all nations, man, and we're going to be fruitful. That means we're going to have a lot of children. One going to have a thousand. Two have a whole nation. We have a whole lot of children. That's fruitful. Yeah. That's right. He go, because he's going to make up for that two thirds, he's going to kill. <laughs> you got to make up for that, right? He's going to kill two thirds, he got to make up for that two thirds that's going to die. That one third going to make it. Hmm. Ephesians 4. And, uh, Let's start at uh, verse 26 again. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not thy son go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. See? It says, neither give place to the devil. It says, be ye angry and sin not. Get up. Uh, Psalms 37 and 8. What does it mean by not let the sun go down? Uh, the sun go down and you still angry. You still got clamor and all this madness in your spirit. Say let it go. Don't let the sun go down and you still the same. You acting the same. You know, that's why I said don't did you let no, they say don't give place to the devil. The devil, you got the devil in you. That's what he said. I mean it's clear. I mean, it can't be no clearer than that. He said, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. I thought it meant something that had to do with the timing. No, it didn't do the timing of the sun going down. When the sun go down, let it go. He said, let it go. Else it's still, if it's still nighttime, that's when them, them demons be creeping, right? When it get dark, <laughs> them demons come out and start creeping, right? So he said, hey, neither give place to the devil. Let you know. Just like, just like I know. From being having different, you know, things happen to me in pain. Feel all right in the daytime. You know what I mean? When the sun goes out, you see there's a difference. It's a difference.